Hey guys, so a couple of days ago I made a video on Iran drones and disinformation. And uh, sometimes I use AI generated thumbnails and I just drop my picture in that AI generated thumbnail. However, uh, Adobe Firefly, which uh, I have a license with Adobe, which I use to generate my stuff, Adobe Firefly would not let me generate um, Iranians launching uh, rockets at Israel. So I changed the word rocket to pickle. <laughs> and then, and uh, Adobe Firefly generated, you know, this background image that I could use for my for my thumbnail. So then I went on Twitter and I asked people, hey, can you please uh, give me some pictures, uh, AI pictures of uh, Iran firing pickles at Israel? And, and you guys did not disappoint. So connect with me on Twitter, at Ryan Macbeth. I want to go over some of these pictures uh, because some of these pictures are, are actually pretty darn good. So this one... <clears throat> this one's, I mean, so the typical Iranian does not wear a keffiyeh, um, although uh, some do, especially the ones who live in uh, uh, Kyrgyzstan province. Um, what's kind of interesting is that uh, I Iran is a, is a multicultural state. Uh, they, uh, Jews used to live in Iran. I'm sure some are still there. There's Christians in Iran. There's Kurds. There's Arabs. Uh, it is a multi-ethnic state. Um, so, I mean, this, this picture isn't, it's not, it's not totally inaccurate. This, uh, oh, they got right here. They're, this isn't totally inaccurate, but it is, it is kind of funny. I don't know where they got an American Humvee from, though. Uh, let's keep going in some of these pictures. So here's Pickle Rick <laughs> being, being fired by Iran. Not bad. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. All right, guys, this is like a dream sequence, right? Soon, the whole world will be mine. I will be able to launch pickles at any place on Earth. Uh, so this one, I guess AI kind of messed up on this one. This looks like a cob of corn <laughs> being fired again, the kefir. And I don't, I don't know what the heck this guy in black is wearing, but all right, it's AI, man. Uh, this one, this one came from Dolly. Not bad, although I'm not sure about the flight characteristics of those particular pickles. Uh, they, they seem a little, uh, they seem a little bent. Um, so this guy, he used a butternut squash. <laughs> Watching a butternut squash. So let's keep moving on here. We have, all right, this one is a giant rocket-powered gherkin. <laughs> all right. Oh, so this is a mobile pickle launcher system. <laughs> Looks pretty real, and this is on parade. The uh, so I guess something someone took this. Uh, this looks like it's more like yeah, this is Russia. I can see you can see the flag up there. So someone just generated that. This is a multiple pickle launch system. <laughs> not bad. I kind of like that one. We have uh, an eggplant again. Did not understand the assignment, but all right. I'll. So maybe maybe they put the nuclear weapon in the eggplant. Yeah, the eggplant has the capacity to carry the uh, the warhead. Um, so this came from MS Copilot, and this guy says it cut off every variation of Iran and firing pickles. So Iran, which is what I say. Look, I get um, I get a lot. I know. I, look, I know Iran is pronounced Iran. I know it's pronounced that way. But I'm from New Jersey, <laughs> and I. I, I, this accent that I'm using right now is not my real accent. You know, this is actually my real accent. I actually talk like this. And when I first moved to Maryland, I realized that everyone looked at me like I was stupid because I talked like I was from Jersey. And so I actually, uh, I actually worked on my accent to, uh, to sound like I was more from Maryland. So I don't use this accent anymore. I use this one, right? Um, <clears throat> so I try to adjust, adjust my accent, but I still say some words, chocolate. I'm drinking coffee right now. And I say I ran cause that's what, that's what everybody says in New Jersey. So there's just some words that I just can't get over. Sorry. So this guy, he got two of them. He got another, another, uh, mobile pickle launcher. That's, that is an ICBM pickle right there. And, uh, another MR, uh, multiple launch rocket pickle, <laughs> multiple launch pickle system. And M L P S. Uh, this this is more looks like Dune. But all right, I did not understand the assignment. All right, so this pickle, this one here, this one has boosters. 
That might be another pickle ICBM as well. IPBM. Uh, all right, I mean, eh, got the rocket right. Did not, this was generated through Adobe Firefly. So it couldn't get the pickles into the missiles, but if you spell it wrong, it seems to bypass the safeguard. Uh, and this is Israel engaging in counterfire. So Israel is firing peanuts back <laughs> at Iran. Uh, luckily, that didn't happen. I, I, you know, the, the funny thing is that I, I have an incredible number of Iranian fans, and I, I love them all. And, uh, you know, when, when uh, people have talked about, oh, Israel is going to counterattack, I'm like, man, I freaking hope not. Yeah, there's there's real people who would be uh, affected by a counterattack, and um, basically all of my fans hate the Iranian government, and uh, you'd be surprised about how American Iranians are. There's actually there's this one guy who uh, who wrote me, um, and he was asking me should I buy a Mac or a PC, and they have Apple stores in 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 Iran. But they're not real Apple stores. They, they look like Apple stores. They kind of dressed up to look like Apple stores. But they're fake Apple stores. People just go to like Qatar or Turkey and they buy Macs and they bring them back to, to Iran because there's export uh, reasons why you can't have uh, Apple computers in Iran. So, you know, th this is how badly Iranians want to be Western. That they'll create fake Apple stores so that they can, they can have uh, the products that, uh, that they have in the West. Um, all right, this, I don't really see any exhaust coming out, but I don't know where that was launched from. It almost looks like this pickle's about to hit. God forbid that happens. Uh, what else we got here? This looks like, uh, I'm not, this is like a fever dream of, of pickles, like a pickle blimp, like a pickle alien invasion. Not bad. Uh, there's another pickle launch. That almost looks like it's burning in. <laughs> this this is probably what the uh what, what the uh religious leaders looked like when they were launching pickles i would would not be surprised um all right this thing <laughs> these guys look a little look a little too happy but all the pickles have lot numbers on them you can see the little bands right there they all have lot numbers on them. that's kind of neat uh, let's see. I'm going to show. All right. That's not so bad. That, that looks pretty good. I don't see any launcher erectors. Um, eh, Iranian and I'm watching rockets. Eh, they're supposed to be pickles, but that's good effort there. I appreciate that. This is another fever dream. So those are the, those are the, uh, the pickle images. And, uh, you know, Hey, if you want to support the channel, go, uh, go buy a behoove t-shirt from Bunker Branding or or get a, a Behoove sticker that you can put on a mug. It's great for anybody who says Behoove too much. Hey, thank you guys for watching. To all my Iranian fans, you guys know that I love you. Hey, everyone. New Ryan Macbeth t-shirts and hoodies from Bunker Branding are available. I'm going to get the Highmars shirt. What are you going to get, Donald? The Patriot shirt, because I'm a Patriot. It's the best shirt, the biggest shirt. Make 14 tangos great again. What are you going to get, Barack? Let me be clear. I'm going to get a drone sweet drone shirt. What about you, George? I'm going to get a Trident missile shirt because they're weapons of mass destruction. Oh, I'm going to get a landmine marker shirt because my presidency always blew up in my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Ronald Reagan, but you're dead. I came back to tell you that no matter our politics, we're all Americans. And we should buy Ryan's hoodies and t-shirts because they pay for the stock footage and licenses that allow him to make awesome content. So come on down to Bunker Branding and... Buy a Ryan Beth t-shirt or I'll start the bombing in five minutes.